let's quickly add an object. Let's add an image. And we're going to scroll through and pick a gear, which is in keeping with my book. All the art objects from the other sample books are in here as well. Let's put these gears here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock the gears onto the page. So now they don't move around while I'm building the page. But I'm also going to make the gears draggable, which is our next property. Draggable is now on, and the minimum and maximum values are indicated here. So now when we hit preview, on this page of my book, this gear is draggable over the entire surface. Now you'll notice that when I get down here, the gears go behind uh, these objects down here. These are on the actual master page. And so this master page layer overlays everything else that's on the page. The master page navigation buttons ensure that you're able to move back and forth between your pages. So think of the master page elements as meta elements and a meta page. But this is a draggable object. You notice that it doesn't rotate. I can't grab it and rotate it. It's going to stay in the same orientation no matter what. If you want to rotate something and have it uh, bounce around, then you're dealing with physics. Now, I've also made all of the elements, the chess uh, pieces, draggable as well. These are not legal chess moves. But by creating draggable elements, you can actually create a board game with Composer. Let's close out of preview mode. You can see that everything is where it's supposed to be. Nothing has changed. Uh, we were only manipulating those things uh, in the actual app. But all I have to do to get rid of this is touch and hold, press delete, and it's gone. 